It's certainly been a stressful week. And what better way to relieve stress than to uh, be scared and scream all that stress out? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Let me get my mouse off the screen. Ugh. Ugh. Where? This game is definitely one that I prefer with a controller. Use your own stress relief stream. We just left you high strung. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I am eagerly spooked, so I'm sure we will get plenty of screams. Aw, thank you for the head pads. Loud, ominous noise. Uh, that's very loud. See, kids, that's why you don't watch TV. Uh, especially not strange TVs you find in the middle of the forest. Um, looks like we're someone else? I can't get a close enough look, but it looks like that's not like the raincoat. That looks more like a trench coat. And then we have a bag on our head. Aww. Man, our cable TV subscription ran out. Ah. And yeah, it does, it does help. I see something right here. Doesn't look like I could pick it up. There we go. I wasn't grabbing it right. Ha! No! Boat turned into trees. Yeah, I remember a lot more water. Take this! Well, it seems like we traded a raincoat for a trench coat and a paper bag. What if this forest is just on a boat? The boats didn't seem big enough to be, like, life ships. I gotta... Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The bees! Oh, flies. Hmm. We see some goop. Can we eat it? Nope. All right. It kind of looks like a beached squid. No, I wanted to... Alright, I can't jump while I hold an item. Forgot about that. TARDIS boat. Yikes. I'm bringing you with me, cube! You and me are gonna be best buds. Hmm. Alright, what about this? All right. This is the forest where the where the gnomes come from. <laughs> you serve the feast. Hmm. Those poor gnomes. L two to crouch. My le my right is not my left, Drecky. All right. The cube. All right, Mister Cube. Where are we going today? I wonder if we're exploring something completely different, or if we're going to run into um, our first character. Because I feel like this isn't the same character. It's too, too different. Um, interesting decor. Let's just kind of um, move on from that. They're just sleeping together. It, yeah. Yeah, sleeping. The funny thing is, is I think that's a bunch of thin people because one of the uh, 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 giant people in the other game was one person would be that big. <laughs> Aha! We still have the cube! We will escort this cube throughout the whole game. Just watch me. Alright. Feel like this thing's gonna break? 
We need a running... Yeah! Good stuff. All right. Cube! I just like taking things where they're not supposed to go. I was the kind of person in uh, the Halo games back in the day to try and jam uh, ghosts and warthogs into the uh, building areas they weren't supposed to go. And whenever we managed to make it work, it was really easy just running over all the enemies. Uh, this looks like a trap. Mini heart attack to get the cube or roll down the cliff. No, 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 we're safe. Cube from portal. Yeah, exactly. It's the cube from portal. <laughs> Scrub. Can't catch me. Um. Alright, so this one is a broken box. Me and the Halo 1 demo ramming the Warhawk into all the structures. I was not a smart child. Um, I thought demos of games were like the full game that they somehow like made it stop. So I remember playing the Metal Gear Solid 1 demo. Probably on and off for like a week trying to get through the uh, the uh, the demo ending trigger. <laughs> So I could play the whole game. I was like, maybe if I, maybe if I just get to it fast enough, you know, I can, I can outrun the trigger and I can play a little bit more. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I just need to find a different way to get in there. <laughs> Spoiler: It didn't work. <laughs> no, Q, you went the wrong way, my friend. Ah. I wonder if we could push this box a little bit closer to the wall. But we might need it a little bit away from the wall to get the cube up, now that I'm thinking about it. No! Okay, for a second there, I thought I threw the cube outside of where we could get. Alright, let's... We were having better, better trouble with the box away from the wall. I have an awkward sign I had a 10 minute timer for the demo, but you could go so far in the game. Oh. That's an interesting way to do it. Yeah, I need to, I need to get back up far enough so that it lands on the box and then loses all of its momentum before falling. There we go. And we gotta... No, I wanna climb up. All right, now we get the cube. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, speed run as a kid, trying to get as far as possible. Nice. I certainly probably laid the seeds for me as well. Uh, all right, hold on, do I need to open something? Wait, no! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! Oh! I was so worried about dropping the cube. I, uh... All right, we got our first death. Ah! All right. Can we, can we go back for the cube, is the question. We cannot go back for the cube. Goodbye. How do I bonk chat? All right, you know what? We may have lost cube, but maybe we can take rock? Maybe? Nope, no rock. All right, well, this game, uh, zero out of 10, doesn't let me bring the cube. Um, kind of shit, was pretty fun until then. Hmm. Rope, that, and a lever.
Can I climb up? All right, so I can't go through that background. It looks like this isn't... Oh, hold on. Oh, I spoke too soon. All right, we don't get high enough for me to grab the edge. That's not what it wants me to do. I climb... Okay. Oh, wow. There is a lot more depth in this game. I didn't ex I expected that to just be more of the background. All right. Very interesting. Log almost had you stumped. Listen here, you little shit. Ah! All right, he's not much of a jumper, but uh we made it. Um There we go. Oh, no, no, no. All right, so we got to get it all the way down, I guess. So the lock's in place. Oh. Ah! All right. Not too bad. We're probably getting close to the end of the tutorial. All right, that's some ominous fucking music. Ah! <laughs> that crunch! <laughs> if you disappear, the lighting is eating your computer. Oh, no. No, that's not good. The bananas are back in the... No, no, no. That one was intentional. Alright. Jumping isn't going to do. i got to find a way down. Let me, like, just... There we go. We just kind of... Was that one? Yeah, I was trying to see if I could jump better. And that wasn't the solution. Ooh, what's this? What is that? It's like... A glitching creature? What are you, friend? Ah! Let's see. the The last one we had those constant memories with the 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 urns to break, um, and then we got the magic power. It seems like maybe this character has some sort of TV thing. Some digital kind of thing going on. Also, this is a terrible burial. Like, you can still see the dude's hosies sticking out. I thought this was, like, the wrong way to go and this is a secret. But maybe this is the way we were supposed to go. I kind of thought we'd just climb up. Is there something over here? All right. I feel like this is going to be a game, this is going to be one where I, I really want to try and push against the geometry to see if there's alternate paths. Well, that's just rude. There's no need to unload on the little guy. He's having it hard enough as it is. He lost his cube. Hmm. Maybe that was all that there was over there. Dang, they got guns in this game? Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's try and not mess up climbing so early. Let's see how many secrets we can find. I see we still have a bunch of shoes. The, uh, the shoe factory is still in full effect. The shoe is not a replacement for the cube, I'm afraid. So we're gonna... Oh! Hmm. Alright, we got another trap. 
I'm wondering if maybe we are on the area that um, they originally are taking all of these, I don't know, Lilliputians? Because they're definitely smaller than most everyone. All right, it's telling. This is uh, this is the the throw throw tutorial. But I see strings, but there's also a bump under the leaves, so I think it's a pressure trap. Yep. Ah, it was a net. I see. Now is my way out. Interesting. Listen, puberty is just a wild time in this game. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a growth spurt, both vertically and horizontally. Hmm. Ah, that looks like a bear trap. Cool. Cool. Lightning is so loud. Kind of jealous, not gonna lie, because, uh... Dark and stormy weather is my preference. No problem, Aurora. Definitely take care of your electronics. Uh... VTubers are not worth the potential of your stuff getting fried. I hope you have a good night and a great rest of your weekend. Give me stick! Oh, we're armed now! I am the bone of my blade. Yeah! No, they broke my stick! Those monsters! What did it ever do to you? Other than, you know, I whack you. Hold on. Interesting. Can I go somewhere else in this background? Hmm. Hmm. You intrigue me, game. Fools, I have a phone. Try and stop me now, lightning. I don't know. You gotta be careful for that Wi-Fi lightning. <laughs> it comes over the Wi-Fi. Hmm. I don't like this. You need another stick. Yikes! That's a note from me, dog. All right, do we have anything in the background? Like it, anytime it's letting me go in the background, I'm like, you got it. Where's your secrets? What do you got? Ooh, pine cones. Ooh, pine cones. Sticky situation. Well, you just gotta stick to what we know best. Oh. Grenade out! I'm glad they gave me a bunch of pine cones. Alright, these people have way too many bear traps. That's way too many leaves. I don't trust it. See? There is one. I love how they do chain reactions and just a whole bunch of them triggering. It's very fun. Oh, we have infinite pine cones! Alright, so we're gonna stay here for about seven hours to see if I can build a tower of pine cone babble and clip outside of the game. Speedrun strats, I swear. <laughs> I see one more trap right at the base of the ladder. So let's go get another one. I think actually what's happening is sometimes the pine cones get destroyed. 
or after a while they despawn because it's getting kind of hard to see some of the ones I've thrown and some of them just seem to disappear whenever they chomp oops I keep trying to jump while holding something forgetting that that's how you throw All right, do we have another foreground? No. What about something in the background? Hmm. I guess not. Would you look at that? Okay. Oh, look at this wide open meadow. Surely nothing bad will happen to us. Oh, no, it's a house. Oh, is this the trapper? Oh, that don't sound very good. My darn music don't sound very positive either. Well, I guess I reckon we'll look at old Jim Bob's. See what is going on. All right. N nice place you have here. Very, uh, cozy. Uh,. Yeah. Got a uh, got anything in the fridge? Hmm. Yeah, I could I could use a beer or like some water. I mean, at least they have refrigeration. Also, I got an achievement for opening the fridge. I don't know I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> All right, we got creepy music room. We got... Is... Hold on, that looks like a... Is that a deer? It looks more like a... Cow with antlers. Although I see a photo of, like, a moose. Maybe it's some other kind of cervid. I will admit I am not an expert on, uh, 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 cervids. Ooh, a new hat! Equip collected hats in the pause menu. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Hats! Hats! Oh, this game just got 300% better. We can collect hats. It's just like I'm playing Team Fortress 2. Alright, what's in the creepy room? You know what? I don't think we finished exploring that other room. Uh, maybe there's something else over there. Um... Maybe there's... Can we... Can we open this door? Can we... There... Hmm... <sighs> okay. Alright, into the creepy... Ah! Hello, abysmal sea bunny. Why do you... Why do you gotta yeet me into the creepy music basement? Alright, how do I... We gotta sneak. We must not disturb the creepy poltergeist. Terrifying music? Absolutely. Alright. We have a novelty rubber band ball. This is our defense. Oh! It's somebody. Hold on, how do I... 
Ball, get back here! Ball! Alright. Friend? Friend? Um... Alright, maybe, maybe this other room has something stronger. Or wait, hold on, there's the cleaver. Can I grab the cleaver? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, I cannot grab the cleaver. Alright, what about the spindle? Is the spindle sturdy enough? No. I mean, it's dilapidated wood. It looks like I gotta break it. Ah, more axes. Yes! Time for our little fighter to take a hatchet to this problem. Here's the little guy! I'm here to help! Friend? Like a feral little child. Hey! That's just mean. Alright. Seems they're trapped in here for like a month? Do we see a lot of those markers? That was really mean. What is this? Pressure, cre precious creature times two? I know. All right, let's uh. Well, we have a weapon, so we gotta bring that with us. Ooh, I'm coming for you, little guy. Ooh, I'm coming. Ah, right. I can't jump. All right, never mind. We're leaving the axe behind. Cool. I love it. Now we have no music. I'm sure that's not ominous at all. Oh, no, I hear someone in the kitchen. Oh. Mmm. Ah, that's unsettling. Mmm. Don't like that. Ah, uh, don't like that at all. No, 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 no. Looks like they had a bit of flesh crafting going on here. I help. With the power of both of us. Bye. 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 We combo? How do we combo? Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Oh, shit. I think they heard us. Quickly! Little guy, come on! And we are making a lot of noise. Oh, we got a bit of co-op action. Interesting. I wonder how this is gonna work. All right, we're probably gonna have to push this. Help me! The question is, are we simply allies of convenience, or will they be with us the whole way? Hmm. Okay, we have a key. We need a square peg. The key will get through that. Oh, he can lift us up. All right, so that's how we can get to over here. 
Weird how they always have all these lever... Is that... Just... Grab this. Don't mind me. Uh... Uh, then get that right back on. Hold on, is something... Seems like something started to grow from the arm. But maybe that's just, uh... Like the the stuffing coming out of the doll. Where does the triangle go? That's right, in the square hole. That's traumatic, Aurora. I know exactly what you're talking about. Alright, now we gotta crank it. Or you can crank it. Or uh, maybe I hold on and then you crank it? Fear the cotton is alive. I Okay, never mind. I just had to do that. Aha! Oh hey, this character actually has fucking pockets. Alright, we got it. Good shit. Cotton is alive, is it just cotton? I choose to believe it's just cotton. Even though I know this game is going to get even weirder if the first one is any indication. Alright, let's climb down and pray the spooky adult is not around. Good stuff. Get our key. Open the door. All right, friend, we're scot-free! Spoopy. Yes, very spoopy. Out of the frying pan and into the shed. What is that noise? It sounds like leather? I think it is! Yep. He's doing a bit of skinning. That's, uh, cool. That's great. Love it. Yep. I guess he's not in the kitchen. Or it's a two-person deal. Just, uh... Make it our way on by. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, f me. How do we get out? Oh, no. Oh, no. He does have a gun. Oh, God. All right. Was that scripted or did I fuck up? All right. I fucked up. Okay, um... How do we get through that door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we push. Oh shit! Run, 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 run! Run! Oh god, he does have a gun! And he's using it! He fucking shot me! He fucking shot me! Ah. Alright, we, we just gotta... We gotta matrix this up. We gotta dodge the bullet. Ah, too far out. Yep. Gotta use the cover.
I could use a dog right now. As a Actually, wait, no, don't release the hounds. Quick, into the ravine. That's so weird. He looks kind of stitched together himself because his arm is just like falling off. R2 to hold hands. Aww. I feel like we have to avoid the birds. I feel like they will cause him to... Nope. You don't see anything. Nothing like some tall grass, am I right? God, I love how it does the... the blurring of the background as well. Just the imagination of the mind. Exactly. Ah, my nose itches. My snoot. Alright, we have a problem. We're about to get out of the tall grass. I'm going to wait for him to look to the left. We have more time. Oh, we got to make it in the hole. Run, 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 run! No! We made it, but we didn't. Ah, <laughs> come on! We were right there. Technically, we made it. Yeah. Cozy snake. Hey, Miss Nil. Welcome on by. <laughs> Release the pigs. We are just having some stress relieving spooky times. So many animals. I mean, he, he seems like he lives on the frontier. You know, he's got a gun. He's skinning a bunch of animals, you know. I'm not surprised he's got, like, a whole bunch of things. Yes! We made it! Hey, Miss Snill. Thanks for the gnome. Certainly could use the sacrifice. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's trying to smoke us out. Dogs, birds, pigs, oh my. We haven't found any of the gnomes yet. Maybe we'll have a different creature in this game. Or maybe they won't show up because we ate one last time. I don't blame them. That was kind of a dick move. Free snack. Nah, 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 nah. Mmm, another one of these. All right, this one will kill us if we fall, so let's just... Ha! Ah! All right, that's not the way to do it. Hmm. Must have been a banana. 
Can I, like... Hmm... Do I go in the background? Is there a path over here? Doesn't look like it. What's this? Oh, we can raise the bridge back up. I'm helping. All right. Um. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yep. There we go. Interesting. Cage in the back seems so useless. Yeah. They're just kind of tasteful decor, you know, in the forest. It's the forest of empty cages. I mean, the hunter did seem like he's caught a lot of things. So... Fuck. No, 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 no! Climb, 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 climb! No, not the TV! You monster! Also, how much ammunition is he holding on to? Oh, shyster. Ah! Fuck! Go, 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 go! Oh, that does not look sanitary. Oh, that... Water should not be thick like this. Uh, this is... This is more like goop. That guy's carrying a lot of ammunition, too. A flavorful water? No! No, don't drink! Don't drink the goop water! That's how you get all the diseases. Disease 100% speed run. <laughs> Look, just because you're American doesn't mean you get like plus five to pocket size. Alright. Oh, it's so thick we can't even jump out. That's great. I got a duck. Noted. <laughs> I'm so bad. Now you get ammo replenishment? I didn't know that. You know, I've been worried that my friend was going to get killed um, while in, while we were running. But honestly, it's more like I'm going to be killed. Because I keep fucking up. <laughs> Raise dollar of healthcare. You spend in healthcare. You get one extra bullet. Yeah, see, the gotcha there is that you gotta, you gotta be able to pay for the healthcare. That's, that's the problem. Oh, so from his perspective, this is a roguelike, I see. Yeah. I, I kind of want more games like that. I can only think of, like, one other game where it's, like, from the perspective of the... Oh, this time he moves on. All right, dude. 
uh, the game is from the perspective of, like, being invaded. Maybe two games I can think of. Where you're, like, setting up the dungeon and then something else is uh, coming in. Oh, I fucked up. I didn't mean to jump. Just keep pushing. Um, nothing's happening. Oh, maybe we need a rocket. Leverage that too. But I don't see a stick. Oh. can't shoot through our wood. Yeah, I just kind of kept mashing the throw button and eventually it worked. Kind of a weird puzzle, but okay. My first thought was to get, like, see if there was a stick so I can pry it up. Go away, birds! You're giving away our position! It is kind of funny that the tree had like the uh, the lovers thing and you needed two people to topple it. What is that sound the music is making? Fuck! Damn it, birds! All right, into the new shed. <gasps> oh, we got our own gun, buddy. We got our own gun. Yes. Yes. Fuck him up. Now I can't hear anything and I'm deaf. Yeah, these, uh... It's not murder if they're bad people. Hmm. That's a that's an interesting achievement. <laughs> Murka! I mean, we do have the, uh, the coon cap. The, uh, raccoon cap. Sorry. Alright, friend. Let's shove off and reenact the Titanic. Although, we're both really tiny, so I think we could both fit on this door. Off into the sea, where will we be? Shall we find succor, or will we find the waves? Down into the sea, where will we be? Or maybe we find the uh, raincoat person from the first game. Till a shark kills you both. Yeah. Good thing this uh, door is floating against the tide, apparently, because it looks like the waves are going right to left. This fog is so pretty. Oh, that double base. What is a TV doing in the middle of the ocean? Alright, I get the feeling TVs are going to be an important thing with this character. Oh, that thrumming noise. I love it. Ooh, what do we got? 
Do we have land? Oh, what the fuck? This looks like, like some dark Dr. Seuss ass shit. Wait, the buildings are moving. What? I... Kind of thought we were going to run into that little lighthouse that I remember at the end of Little Nightmares 1. Hmm. Especially because we got on the ocean. But I guess maybe they're more of a... It's more of a thematic sequel than like an actual sequel. <gasps> Ooh, another digital thing. All right. All right, Titus. You're here. And we got to find Xanarkand. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god, the way the camera zooms out. Alright, that's the obvious way to go. But we're playing games, so it's time to not go the way we're supposed to go first. That's how you know you're a real gamer, when you go the wrong way. Also, this TV's connected directly to power lines, maybe? Ah! Hydrate! Fine. Story arc from the other side, maybe? Maybe! Maybe this is the mainland. But then I wonder what was going on with all the ships. Like, was it a luxury cruise kind of situation? All right, nothing in the background. What about the foreground? Nope. All right, I think we've done enough cardio in the sand. Uh, let's go in this well-lit doorway. Orange. Nature is a terrifying thing. Accurate. I found one hat. I have the, uh, the raccoon hat. Um. Alright. That's weird. Not sure what's going on there. It's like people just disappeared and then there's their clothes. There's still the shoes! What is with these games and shoes? There's shoes everywhere! <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the second one at least. And they actually recently announced that they're doing a Little Nightmares 3. So uh, obviously a fortuitous time for me to finally get around to checking these games out. Alright. Can't see past the camera. Hmm. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Guess we'll go in through this window. Ah, we found a Denny's. All right. I want a Grand Slam and a fresh cup of hot uh, coffee. Uh, keep it black. It's terrible anyway. There's no reason to try and sweeten a terrible deal. Hmm. More TVs. All right, we can't climb up that rope. Hmm. 
Usually with TVs, you've got things like lethargy and um, distraction. Last game definitely really hammered home on excess and um, just being gluttonous. So I wonder, I wonder if this is like if it. If we're going with like a, a sins kind of thing, if this one might be more kind of that. I'm oh, coming for you, friend. I just gotta knock this TV down real quick. Yeah, take that! Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Let's try that again. Oi! Yes, yes. I'll, I'll help you as soon as I can. I just need to get something over there. There should be... yes. So back in the TV thing. Let's knock that off. Ooh. Interesting. And we're gonna do a bit of leapfrogging, aren't we? Oh, he's gonna go... okay, so I just gotta do a, a long jump, and then he's gonna help me. Alright, buddy. Catch me! I feel like I jump further whenever they were going to have a catch moment. Hmm. So it would be one way to make sure you can't bypass having your friend. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go there, what about over here? All right, we have a left and a right. Yeah, that was a really long jump. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mmm. That feels like the way we're actually supposed to go, so let me check out that other way first. That's one thing that kind of bugged me in the first one sometimes, is there were a lot of... Oh, there's a digital... Hmm. Spooky. There, there's a lot of times where I didn't expect it to be a, a unidirectional transition when I meant to do a bit more exploring, and that was kind of frustrating. Um... Uh... Things are not looking good. Um, do I just need to run? There's stuff flaking off of us. Oh, now we're like glitching. We just gotta get across the room. Oh, is that window? Oh, we can't get out. We have to go to the TV, don't we? Fuck. All right, what are you gonna do, TV? Use L to tune into the transmission. Interesting. Oh, 
we we fucking matrixing this shit. And when he had his hand on the TV, it was distorting, kind of like uh, uh, if you have a magnet next to a certain some kinds of monitors, they'll distort. we can do something to electronics. We have some kind of... because In Little Nightmares 1, she kind of got the power to just, like, suck the life out of everyone. I wonder if this character maybe has some kind of electromagnetic power? Because we did have that TV that was on and not connected to anything. So he would have... It would have had to get power from somewhere. So I wonder if our character was the one making it able to connect? Hmm. Really love the music in this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The music and sound design is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's the way to go, as always. Let's see if there's anything I can find in the not way to go. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't found anything hidden behind where the camera can't see. Usually the best place to hide some kind of pickup or thing on a bob. Hmm. Also, the way that it does like the camera movement, like even though I don't have a lot of control over the camera, uh, I have no complaints, or I have very few complaints. Oh, see when it does shit like this, like oh my god. So cinematic. All right, I guess we're going to school, maybe. Uh, but not the way in. There's something on that dumpster. Ah, I see. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get on top of this dumpster first. Maybe I go from here, here. What did I get? Eh, I like the uh, the raccoon hat better. One person's escape is another tiny person's entrance. Am I right? What could go wrong? Yeah, we had that one hunter person chase us, but maybe that's an anomaly. Maybe we'll find a friendly face. Uh, that umbrella is burning. I see. See, look how happy they are. Look at that smile. I'm sure this is going to be a very normal place with welcoming, helpful people who are going to feed us and give us shoes. That's, uh, those are some serious bunk beds. All right. Ball. Cube. <gasps> cube! Yes, we have the cube! Hey, yo, little... Hey, welcome on by, Grain Snake. 
Yes. Playing Little Nightmares 2 today. All right. We have found a replacement cube. It's not our original cube, but it is a cube nonetheless. Let's uh, pull this ominous lever and... Now what? Ooh. There's something on the other side of that painting. Alright. Can I throw a cube through the hole so we can keep it with us? No, I don't get enough height. Alright. Interesting. Oh, do we have another friend? Breaking things! 